With kids set to return to school, Ontario is rolling back its mandatory COVID-19 isolation period. But is now the right time with fall flu season right around the corner? That's what we're talking about in Canada tonight. And many people here in this crowd say that that is exactly what they are going to do in the November elections. Vote for pro-choice senators so that they can try to combat this issue. But they say while they continue to raise their voices at protests like this in the weeks ahead, they still want Joe Biden to take that more decisive action and to take it now. Polls close in just eight minutes from now. And when they do, those results are going to be flying in fast and furious and CBC Toronto's municipal affairs reporter Sean Jeffords is going to be here with us throughout the night on and off. You're going to be watching those results very closely. I should add that Sean is a new pickup for us at CBC Toronto and we are so grateful that you came just in time for this campaign. You've done a fantastic job. Thanks, Chris. Welcome back to CBC News Network this Saturday morning. Drag performers in Canada and the United States say they face increasing intimidation from far-right groups. In one of the latest examples, neo-Nazi protesters targeted an event in Florida. And Mama, I understand that you actually have uh, some people that you know who are part of Pulse. How does it feel when you hear about this kind of stuff that's happening, given everything that you and your community have been through? Tanya, thank you so much for joining us on the program tonight to share your story and your brother's story with us. I, I think it's doing a great service to helping Canadians understand why this hotline is so important. So thank you very much. Most of this crowd is certainly a part of the pro-choice movement, people who are furious with today's decision that, as you mentioned, struck down that historic case from 1973 that legalized abortion right across the United States. I have a guest, somebody who is here in 1973 in America and remembers what that was like. So the Three Amigos Summit has not happened since 2016, did not happen even one time while Donald Trump was president. And Joe Biden says a big commitment that he has to the allies is to try to normalize relations. And of course, that would include Canada. But in the face of all of this opposition from Canadian officials, where did Joe Biden go yesterday but to Detroit? Rubina, you nailed it. So much is going on right now. I feel like it could make your head spin. Been, frankly yeah. and I mean talking about your head spinning the turbulent week that we've had on the markets is another thing that's just been kind of astounding to watch Gareth do you think that the turbulence will continue and what do you think should average investors be doing in the face of it and Democrats would surely rather Americans were glued to things like the January 6th hearings that we were speaking about yesterday and we'll certainly talk about again tomorrow but the fact is poll after poll shows that people here are more focused on their wallets and how much they're spending on things like gas at the pumps. Just like in Canada, gas is at an all-time record high here. And so, especially in a midterm election year, Biden wants to be seen taking action. You better believe that that is their hope. And there's a lot of optimism in this room that that will be able to happen this time. You heard Eric talking about Perry Sound Muskoka and how he's going to be watching closely for that race. Well, everybody in this room tonight, as they filter in at this party headquarters in Guelph, they will also be watching very closely to see what happens there in Perry Sound, Muskoka. But as we gather this election night to take stock of our love-hate relationship with Toronto, maybe a tenth thing to hate about our city is the number one most frustrating, the simple and unshakable fact that even with all these big city problems, we don't hate Toronto. We don't hate Toronto at all. Joe Biden began that speech by saying that he wanted to go back to this site to talk about where it all began as he laid out what he is calling his fight for the soul of America. He called on all Americans in the nation to come together to help him, as he called it, defend democracy. We appreciate you making CBC Toronto your election night choice. We have much more election coverage throughout the evening. CBC.ca slash Toronto is your destination. That's all from us this evening. Thanks for being part of the conversation on Canada Tonight. Stay with us right here on CBC News Network. The National is next.